Hey, good morning. So this is day two of my uh, Uversion reading plan that I'm doing called Simplify. But as you see up here, it's really day three. Yesterday was Sunday and I do church on Sunday, so I didn't do Sundays. I'll go back and pick it up sometime. But today's reading is Philippians 4, 11 through 13. And it says, I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in every, in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. What, what an impact this makes. Um, when you read the devotional part over here, it really talks, one of the things that really hit me is when it talks about um, uh, down here, like uh, someone who gets a better life or someone who, uh, it's right in here. It says, um, are you envious? Do you get angry um, when someone gets something better? Uh, why him and not me? That, this is really, um, gives you something really to think about because when someone does get something better, instead of being envious, it's saying that you should be content with what it is that you've been given. And I think for some time, at some times that this has really been quite a challenge because, you know, there have been times when I have hoped, uh, to get a different kind of job or, or doing something different and someone else gets one and and instead my mind instead of being happy for them my mind goes to that other side where I am like Ugh, why why did they get it why not me and then my mind starts to make up all these stories of oh it's probably because they're prettier or it's probably because they knew somebody or probably how about if I just turned it around and said it's because that's where God wants them and I'm in this situation and I'm right here because this is where God wants me. Um, very powerful. Makes you think about, about the way that you react when people have great things that happen to them. And then the other part of this is the um, living underneath the provisions that God has given you. And, and I think that that is a struggle. It, it means not spending every cent that you get but living underneath it so that you can pay off debt so that you won't be, you won't owe anybody anything. Um, and that you can do with the money your with the money that you earn something that could help someone else or what God tells you to do with the money. Uh, just some thoughts. Okay. I'm going to end this and, uh, do a little prayer time. Thanks for joining me.